This is without a doubt the worst movie in the world. It's the best worst movie in the world. I don't know if there's another movie out there that can dethrone this as being the worst best movie, best worst movie, whatever I'm trying to say. That's how bad it is. I don't know what I'm trying to say. The Room. I watched The Disaster Artist, and it's a movie I had wanted to see for a long time. Finally watched it. It made me not want to watch The Room, and I wish I didn't. It was just so bad. I will give this a 2 out of 10. My worst rated movie. I would give it a 0 if I could, but I don't even feel like that's being fair. A 1 isn't even nice. This was just a bad movie. This is lower than like the average rating for the movie because it was just a bad movie. I understand it has a cult following. And I know it's like laughable because it's so bad. But it's just bad. This movie was so confusing from the beginning. And I don't even know what to say. I have notes, but I don't even feel like my notes do this justice. It was just such a confusing film from the beginning. And, you know, they start out with that, that sex scene. Tommy and Lisa. Not Tommy. It's Johnny and Lisa. Tommy is the actor's name. But it's just so weird. And it's... It's like just like two sex scenes in the first like 25 30 minutes and it's just so awkward everything feels so stiff like the acting like this movie's so bad you can't even criticize it like let's be honest i just can't this movie was so bad it was like an hour and a half of my life i understand people like that it's so bad and it's like laughable because of that but i'm just like i would not be one of those people who go and watch this on at midnight like pe they have midnight screenings of this movie all the time for like the cult following and it's not one of those movies for me at all there's so much jumping and scenes that just it, there's nothing holding it together it doesn't there's no gel holding this together and it feels like you're just going from seeing like as if Tommy and Wiseau wrote this movie like just a bunch of scenes and threw them all into a script with people with the same names who are supposed to be friends but there's no evidence of them like being friends because I don't feel like they're all in like I don't feel like they're like friends at all in this movie like Mark and Johnny are supposed to be friends I don't really get that at all I just get it as Mark's a guy who's banging his fiance like that's the only real purpose he has is to be like not the bad guy in the movie but you know he's he's just there he's like there to create the conflict he doesn't add to the story i don't really find too many scenes where they're all kind of like together anyway to like make you think they'd be believable friends you know there's I don't know how if it's the iconic scene or if it's the disaster artist that made it iconic, but like when Johnny goes onto the roof, he's saying he didn't hit her, and then he's like, "Oh, hi, Mark." That's such an awkward scene, and that's one of the few scenes where him and Mark are actually together. I don't know if Mark lives in the same building because there's supposed to be an apartment, but every time someone walks into Johnny's apartment, it looks like a house. Like, so their front door to a house, not to an apartment. I find that very weird. So I don't know, does does Mark live in the same building? Like, I don't know what, what that's about. The human behavior in this movie is very weird. Everyone's like a robot. And I don't get it. Like, I get it from Tommy Wiseau. Like, he goes, haha, like, a lot. But I don't... I don't understand. Like, it just frustrates me to watch it. Glad I only watched it once. <sighs> also, to go along with the, the whole human behavior, like, the kissing in this movie, like, the romantic parts of it, it felt so awkward and forced. And there's also the scene where Mark and Lisa are sitting together at one point. I don't know what part of the movie it's in. It's more towards the end, but 
she's telling him, like, I love you, like, I want to be with you, I don't want to be with Johnny, I don't love him anymore, and she is, like, I don't want to say pouring in her heart, but she tells him those things, and he's just kind of, like, oh, like, he acts almost the opposite of what you would think, like, because, you know, he's in it, too, like, he's been, I don't know how long he's been, been, like, hooking up with her, but it's just from like the way you would think that he would act he acts the exact opposite and I was just like really this is how bad this movie is I'll tell you my least favorite part of this movie the ending the ending was so dramatic you know they find out well Tommy already knows that Lisa's cheating on him I don't know if he knows if it's with Mark or not but Anyway, there's this whole blowout at his birthday party. And he goes crazy. Like, crazy, crazy, but, like, breaking shit. And he goes up to his room. Shoots himself in the head, like, through, puts a gun in his mouth, pulls the trigger. Everyone goes up, like, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Danny, I think. He goes up, and he's, like, crying over it. And it's, like... You're so weird, dude, like, in this movie. Like, what's the point of your character? You're just that guy who walks in at the most random times in this movie. Like, you're not Kramer from Seinfeld. Anyway, it's, like, so weird. Like, he's like, oh, we have to be alone. Like, telling Lisa and Mark to, like, go away. Like, I have to be alone with with uh, Johnny. And it's like, what the f- What? Like, who are you? In that instance, too, Mark is like, oh, I can't be with you to, to Lisa. And I was like, now's the time you're going to tell her that? Like, you guys could finally, like, be together. Like, I know that's, like, a mean way to put it, but it's like, how does all that make sense? Anyway, I'm done with this movie. Like I said, 2 out of 10. That's be- me being nice. Have you seen The Room? Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, I got one more review this week that I'm going to drop. So just look out for it. And I will catch you guys next time.